Okay, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video for everyone that's thinking about ordering uh, a Kafaru belt pouch. What will fit in each? Uh, or Well, when I say each, I mean the medium and the large. Those are the only two that I have. So, <clears throat> you know when you order one, what will fit in each. So I got the large here, the medium on the top, and they're both on the Striker XL and they fit perfectly like that. There's no extra space. Um, so the large and medium fit perfectly. So the first thing I have, <clears throat> the bottom pouch, the large. This is an Arcteryx uh, Naga hoodie right here. This is like a, a fleece hoodie. This is a size medium right there and this will fill the entire large pouch completely up it fills completely and you can still zipper it no problem it'll fill that entire space up <clears throat> For the medium, this is a set of binos right here. A set of uh, 8x42 Nikons, Monarchs. So even in the case, 8x42s, these will fit perfectly in the medium. No problem, easy in, easy out, it's not stuffed. It's not a tight squeeze, there's still a little bit of space in there. I'm trying to use all common items that I think most people would have. Um, so you can get an idea of what you can put in yours. Like, it doesn't matter what I'm putting in mine, but you could use this video as like a reference or a guide to figure out what pouches you need and what will fit in them. Because they're expensive, and on Kafar's website, the cubic inches is listed, but that's irrelevant information to me because I have no idea what a catadine, how many cubic inches this is. I have no idea. So the way I do it is uh, elementary school, uh, crayons, literally draw pictures. That's how I figure things out. So this water filter will fit up there, no problem. With still extra space up there, to fit, you um, can throw a collapsible water bottle in there too. This is a Seeker 2 liter right there. Can fit in there, no problem. With the water bottle, and there's still extra space, I could throw even a few extra things in there. But water bottle and the filter fit, no problem. Now, this is a pretty common item I think most of us have. Either a jet boil. Uh, I have the MSR wind burner. Got my little spork on the outside. This will fit in the large, the long way, or you can even store it upright and put something side by side with it. As you can see, you have a whole extra, I can put my fist in there easily. You could put like maybe a day's meals in there. I don't know. Ramen, fill in the blank. Uh, for the top, here's another scenario. For guys that carry stoves like this, I have the Snow Peak right here. Is that in frame? Yeah, that's in frame. Okay, the Snow Peak cup um, with a fuel canister right here. An MSR fuel canister and then I have the Snow Peak um, Giga stove so these this situation right here it's perfectly in a medium still extra space you can definitely still put uh, a whole meal a day's meal in there whatever you gotta do okay I have 
here. A spare um, release for my bow. This is the extra I'm taking on my trip. I don't use this one anymore, but I am taking this to spare. So that will fit up there, no problem. And then I also have this, which is Kafaru's pack cover, waterproof pack cover. So this is the medium pack cover that Kafaru sells. And this will cover up to 100 liter packs. I believe it's 100 liter packs. And that'll fit up here with my spare uh, release. And then I have this right here, which is a legit um, a kafia from the Middle East. So legit, real one. It's not that Chinese garbage you, you find at the surplus store. This is a real one. That will fit up there with all that too. See, still a little extra room on the sides, but even the medium can fit a good amount of stuff in it. That's the top. And that's about everything I have for my box of common goodies, we'll call it, to put in these um, pouches to use as a guide for you guys. Like, I hope this can serve at least a few people in the future when you're thinking about shopping and buying one of these pouches. It was difficult for me. I didn't know which one to buy. I almost bought the small and the medium, but something just told me to get the large, and I'm glad I did. Um, so, in the next clip, I'm going to show the waterproof pack cover that Kafaro sells because this is another thing that I've never seen any videos on on YouTube or anything else like that uh, none of the forums unless I'm not looking good enough so in the next clip I'm going to show you how uh, nice of a pack cover it is and how noisy it is the material and if you didn't notice down here uh, the Buzz Lightyear, that's my daughter's, she wanted him to be in the video, so he's going to be in the video today. Alright, so this is the Kafaro pack cover right here. Uh, this is the medium, and as you can see, I have a Striker XL. This is the new one that just came out with the duplex light frame. I have uh, two... Kafaro belt pouches on here. They're empty right now, but the pack has a few things in it so you can kind of see how this sounds, the material. It's a little noisy, not too, too bad, but I don't know what this sounds like on camera, but so the outer edge kind of has this uh i don't know what this material is it's kind of like a kadora fab fabric almost on the outside and that holds the bungee in there that's where the bungee is and then all the way at the bottom you have this the bungee with the uh i forget what they call these but you can kind of tighten it up and cinch it down so this is the medium on the pack. I'm just using my scuba tank to hold it up over the top. So that's it, fully cinched down. That's how it looks on the pack. A little shiny, the material, as you can see. Like, granted, the light bulb's right above the fiber cut. A little bit shiny. But it looks good, kind of got a, like a ripstop look to it. But I think it'll do well. I think it'll do fine. So that's it for today's video. It's a quick 10 minute clip. 
um, hit my channel because I have some other stuff that I ordered from Kafaru that I'm going to throw up on here pretty soon. And uh, subscribe or don't subscribe, don't matter to me. And have a good day, everybody. <laughs> okay. So if you just heard that, um, that's my daughter's uh, Buzz Lightyear, and what you, the sound you just heard was her uh, sitting on a uh, whoopee cushion, right there, behind our little makeshift studio. So that's exactly what you just heard.